north of the city when we were enjoying the sunshine, but we're going to be getting some some uglier weather tonight. Yeah, it looks that way. Beautiful sunset behind the two of you right now, but two centimeters of snow is going to be possible around some parts of the city of Toronto, but such is the nature with lake effect snow. Not everyone will see it, but those who do get heavy bursts of flurries might see reduced visibility tonight as a result. Weather is brought to you by train for more comfort and cleaner air. It is hard to stop a train. So we're going to begin there with the snowy part of our weather story tonight. Here's a current look at the satellite and radar. We've got quite a lot of fetch on this band extending from Lake Huron, pushing its way into Halton region. So if you're seeing a few flurries right now in and around Brampton, perhaps the north end of uh, Milton, that would be why. I've also been tracking some heavy snow around Barrie, making its way into northern Durham region as well, and York region. I know that you've been dealing with uh, some reduced visibility throughout the day today as well. Very similar situation in Simcoe County. In fact, Environment Canada calling these snow squalls dangerous, especially now in the areas under the blizzard warning whiteout conditions reduce it, resulting rather in zero visibility so if you do not have to be on the roads tonight in these areas best to stay home some communities could end up picking up between 15 and 25 centimeters of snow through the night tonight these squalls they're going to wiggle around a little bit but they will start to taper off tomorrow looks like a brighter and a drier day there's another disturbance that's going to impact eastern sections of Ontario for us here in the city of Toronto it might be a mostly cloudy start hopeful for some sunny breaks in the afternoon Afternoon, and then a blend of sun and cloud sun and cloud is expected during the day on Wednesday. Now let's talk about the winds. That's the other part of the story. Wind warnings are in effect for the areas that you see here in purple. Upwards of 90 kilometer per hour gusts expected there still this evening. We are under a uh, special weather statement here in the GTA. Warning of those winds which have already been gusting upwards of 80 kilometers per hour. And blowing snow is expected for communities to the south and to the west of us. Those winds are coming out of the northwest. They have have been strong. They are still strong, as you can see, especially around Niagara Falls, still gusting to around 80 kilometers per hour in the Peterborough area. It's going to be chilly tonight. Uh, the wind chill factor will be less of a factor through the overnight in Toronto, so it feels like minus 20 in some areas now. It will feel more like minus 14 overnight, feeling like minus 30 tonight in Aurelia as well as Bancroft. Tomorrow, this is a little more normal. Zero is the forecast daytime high, and really, conditions just improve from there. Five degrees on Wednesday. May Mainly sunny skies for Thursday and Friday. Early look at next weekend's not looking too bad either. That's the look at the seven day forecast here on CTV News. Tropicana orange juice provides 100% of your daily vitamin C in every glass. One more way to add goodness to your day. The Social is celebrating International Women's Day with Mercedes-Benz Canada. Join Melissa Grello, entertainer and entrepreneur Mitsu, and model and mentor Stacey McKenzie to learn how the She's Mercedes